What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Shoots with Coops. And today I want to talk about what I feel is the best beginner film camera, and that is the Olympus OM-1. So guys, the Olympus OM-1 was the, the first iteration of the Olympus OM cameras. Obviously we had an OM-2, 3, 4, uh, 10, 20, the list kept going on. They were an extremely popular camera. These bad boys first hit the market in 1972 at Photokina, and they were instantly regarded as, you know, as a professional, you know, high grade, you know, very beautiful looking camera. Now, there being so many different film cameras out that you guys are probably saying, well, why is this one the best? And I will give you a few reasons why. First reason, guys, is the lens. Now, the lenses that came on this bad boy were all uh, the F Zuko lenses. Now, these things were renowned for being extremely high quality. Um, now, whether you went with the 28 2.8, 35F2, uh, this is the 51.8, there's a 51.4, there's a 55.12, there were zoom lenses, it didn't matter. Every single one of these lenses was regarded as being very, very sharp, uh, great micro contrast, and a very, very high quality, high performing lens. Now, from film camera body to body, there's no difference. I mean, camera, uh, different film camera bodies are not going to make you, you know, give you different results or give you a different picture. It's the lenses which yield different results. So I think for a first camera, um, it's a really good system to get into because the lenses are such good quality that you're going to get some amazing results with them. Next reason, guys, is the price. Now, uh, this might surprise a few people, but I actually managed to pick this camera up with the lens for 75 Australian dollars. That's probably what, 60-ish American. Um, so absolute bargain um, and in really, really good condition as well, to be honest. Uh, these cameras are very cheap. They are not expensive. Um, definitely the, the, you know, your entry level lenses like your 50mm 1.8, they are very cheap as well. Um, so if you can get into them for, for really, really cheap, they're a very high performing camera. They're gonna give you great results. Next reason, guys, and one of the major ones for you know, a beginner camera, this is a fully manual camera. It does take batteries, but that only powers a light meter. You have to set uh, aperture, shutter speed, ISO, and then you know, uh, adjust for your exposure to get a good image. Um, the best part about it is it doesn't need batteries to run. You can always use a light meter app on your phone, so the camera's never gonna just break down on you. Um, and these things, as I said, they're f fully mechanical, so there's no electronic parts in there to, to ever rust out or stop working, you know what I mean? If, if it's kept in good conditions, I should say. Um, so it's gonna last forever. As I said, these things came out in the 70s and they're still around today in good conditions. So they were, you know, they're a timeless design, um, very, very well-built camera that has lasted. Now, on another point of that, uh, you know, function-wise, the light meter that is inside this bad boy. Now, guys, there's a lot of talk out there that modern alkaline batteries do not run the light meter in this camera. Now, the battery I have here, this is a Vinic uh, L1560. I'll put a picture on the screen for you guys. This little battery I have found powers the light meter really, really well and accurately. Um, I got it from, a, in Australia here, we have a, a group of businesses called Battery World. Battery World is a dedicated battery supplier. And I got this from them, I think it was about 10 Australian dollars, so quite expensive for a little cell battery. But I have tested the light meter against my M7, my Nikon EL, and my digital camera. And the photos that I've got out of this bad boy, the light meter is spot on and it is reading correctly. So for those of you who say they don't work, it does. You just need one of these bad boys. Next reason, guys, is the size and the design. Now, I have quite large hands, as you guys, you know, as you can see, except, but, but even then, this camera fits in the palm of my hand. It's not a big camera. It's a very lightweight camera. It's something that you, you know, you can carry around all day because it's so light, and something that you want to carry around all day because it's, you know, a very, very nice looking camera. It's a, it's a beautiful camera. It's a, you know, very classic SLR design. It's something you pick it up and you want to shoot it. And when you're a newbie starting out, the, the look of the camera is just as important as everything else. It, you know, you, you need to want to shoot the camera. A camera's got to appeal to you. Um, and this thing definitely does. It makes you want to shoot. So you're going to want to take this, you know, where you, out you go with your friends or, you know, out hiking uh, or in the city, street photography, you know, street shooting. You're going to want to take this camera everywhere you go. So you're going to shoot more photos. And as a beginner, that's what's most important. Now, last thing about this camera, why I think it's great, guys, and that is the shutter, uh, the shutter speed dial. Now, as you can see, on most cameras where our, you know, on the top of the camera where our shutter speed dial would be, 
it is actually our ISO selector. Now, the shutter speed is located, as you can see here, on the collar of the camera. Now, why I think this is so great for a newbie is because you can obviously, we're gonna have preset our ISO, set our aperture. We can put the camera up to our eye, we can compose our scene, focus, and then we can adjust the shutter speed very comfortably as needed from, uh, you know, from right in front of us. While we're composing a shot, we don't need to take our eye away from the camera. Um, to check, oh, my settings are all right. Like most, most SLRs, oh, I better change, back up, and you could have missed the shot. With the OM-1 and all the OM series, you can put the camera up, I can compose, I can change the shutter, shutter dial while still looking through the viewfinder and composing my shot. I think that's something that just helps you stay in the moment more um, and concentrate on composition. And as a newbie, it's very important and a really cool feature to have. All right, guys, enough of my boring talk. Let's go out and shoot this bad boy. OM-1, an absolute classic camera, timeless design, a joy to shoot, great image quality. As a newbie getting into film, you cannot ask for much more than what this camera gives you at the price. I highly recommend it, and I'm sure you guys will love using it if you can get your hands on one. So that does it for another episode of Shoots with Coops, guys. Happy shooting, and I'll see you in the next one.